Hello, this is Pillar Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Elden Ring. So last time we defeated Lord of Blood. And uh, we got two items for doing so. Let's see. One was the Fever's Cookbook 3. Ow! We can craft the, bo the Bewitching Branch. Well, that's nice. Uh, that, that's really nice because uh, there was only one vendor that sold them that we've ever met. And uh, we bought all of them, but I've never used them because, because I was like, well, um, what? I don't I don't want to rely on a strategy that that uh, falls apart the moment I run out of a certain item, you know. So anyway, so there's that. And then we got the spell uh, law of causality. Um, manifest a small ring of causality within that allows the caster to automatically retaliate upon receiving a certain number of blows. The fundamentalists describe the golden order through the power of regression and causality. Causality is the pull between meanings, that which links all things in a chain of relation. Oh, that's my... Here's how you see your resistances. I've been... Not... Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Help. Explanation. Immunity is... Uh, Various poisons and rot, robustness, blood loss, and frostbite. About sleep and madness, and 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 death blight. So you want to increase your vitality if you're going up against death blight, robustness for frostbite and blood loss, and immunity for poison and rot. Makes sense. Okay, well, that's good, that's good, that's good. Um, alright. Um, we're gonna go back here. Cocoon of the Empyrean. Um, how does one? I don't appear to be doing anything. few times, but I just realized that uh, it looks like this cocoon is sitting in a cross-section of a giant skull. Okay, nothing's happening. Yeah, 
don't think that's doing anything for us. Also, let's, uh, I still have this equipped. Why do I have this equipped? Okay. I'm getting some serious glare on my monitor. One second. Yeah, that's a little bit better. I don't need to move my mic. Okay. I'm gonna need to fix that. Oh. No. I didn't mean to do that. Reset? Thank you. Oh, for the love! Am I, am I just going to fail at that every time now? Wow. This is so stupid. How do I, how do I get up there and destroy the freaking cocoon? I don't know how it worked the one time. Because now every time I even jump in the vicinity of it. Fantastic. Keep missing. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. You can't jump up there at all. That's the answer to that question. Nor is there any option for destroying this cocoon. Like, there's no, hey, destroy it button. Huh. An ever jail. Another ever jail. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm not sure. Okay. 
It's an entire other region. I still feel like we're maybe supposed to be able to go up here. And, but I don't, I don't know. And then, also down in here somewhere there was an item that was basically unreachable. Trying to remember where it was exactly. Oh, you know what? It was right here. Yep, right there. Somehow. And beyond that, uh, let's see. Let's see. It. Let me do some notes, I guess. Read icon shield. No. It's a shield that we saw, but then never read. Great shield painted with a divine scene, the recipients of a blessed tear from the Erd Tree. An item that looks back fondly on the Age of Plenty. The divine scene acts in and of itself as, as a sacred invocation, gradually restoring the carrier's HP. Nice. Okay. And then, uh... Read Zamora Ice Storm spell. Uh, item crafting. Yeah. Ice sorcery of the town of Zamor. Uh, strike the ground with the staff to create a freezing tornado. Charging enhances potency. Cloaked in icy tempests, the knights of Zamor have challenged the fire giants into ancient times. Makes sense. And then... Crystal Release Spell. Oh. Creates a massive crystal, then shatters it into... Shatters it to scour a wide area with a violent rain of crystal shards. This sorcery is used by high-ranking adepts among the Crystallians. Some also call this sorcery the Crystal Sun. Okay, I can remove those items from my notes. Mm. Explore stairs past the Forsaken Depths. I already did that. Possible Alexander sighting from Cliff near Shabriri. I don't think that was an Alexander sighting. But I am curious about what it was. Let's go back over to Shabriri and take a look. wasn't that way, I don't think. Oh yeah, I think it was that I was looking at.
Is it way over here or something? Oh, you know what? We're not even close enough to know. Oh, oh, that's that's a mausoleum. Because before it looked like a pot on a stool, and now it's down. That was the mausoleum that I was looking at. Next to possible sighting. Um. Take the rightmost path on the dragon wing in Landell. We already tried that. What do I mean by check downstairs from Avenue Grace and Landell? I think that must have been a really old one. Because... I tempted that. And it's all just familiar stuff. You know, we kind of rushed through this whole region. Uh, because it's terrifying. Might as well go out there and see if we missed... Well, I'm sure we missed stuff, but see what we missed. Okay. Okay. I was not expecting the second one. That's annoying. I see an item over there, though. Dragon Smithing Stone.
Wait a second. <laughs> oh, I overcomplicated that one. I did not realize there was such a close bonfire to... Oh, there were two entrances. Okay, I d yeah, I did not realize there was such a close bonfire to the fire giant. We have... not my best decision. Let's let, uh... Let's let it... Okay, never mind. No! I was like, heal! Let's heal right now, real quick! So we don't lose our runes. That somehow I had the rainbow stones equipped. At what point did I do that? I don't know. But it's really stupid. And, uh, yeah. Uh, goodbye, rainbow stones. See ya never. Well, not, not never, but... Shh, no. Those. Do you mind? Thanks. an item. Invigorating white cured meat. What? Or wait, what is... 
that. I'm pretty sure this is a hero's grave. Giant conquering hero's grave. Speaking of hero's graves, we still need to defeat that uh, pair of <sighs> crucible knights. Flame protect me. Um, greatly increases fire and negation. Ha! Huh. Uh, that would have been nice. The most ancient of the fire monks incantations creates a fire within that greatly increases fire damage negation. It's said that this incantation was used during the war against the giants long ago, during which it protected the champions of the Erd Tree. Cool. No. That needs a light in order to be even fought. Do we have such a light? I must have to go past it. Go. Oh. Go. Oh my. For the. You mind?
Missed the timing. Missed the timing. Jeez. Anyway. We've used half of our healing already. Cranial Vessel Candle Stand. Okay, I need to take you to a light. Or 
push the others. I thought there was one more. There was one more. Seriously? This gave me a weapon. Candle stand used in worship of Barak, the most hallowed monk, prelate of the giant's flame. Concerned over the lazy arrogance with which the monks treated the flame, Barak severed his own head as a lesson to the others, intending it to be used as a candle stand. His faith yet smolders from within the cranial vessel. Well, that's, uh... One second, let me turn on the light. Why?
This is where we came down from, it wasn't it? Yes, it was. Okay. Giant seal. Oh. Sacred seal depicting the one-eyed god of the fire giants adorned with braids of red hair. Sacred seal wielded by fire monks and prelates. This catalyst enhances giant's flame incantations. Torn with braids of red hair, huh? Uh, this armament has no skill. If the armament in the other hand has a skill, that will be in use instead. I wonder if that's like a reference to Radon? Or, I wonder if that's a reference to either Radon or his father or the fire giant that we already beat. Really?
Okay, you know what? This is... Nonsense! Nonsense! I'm confused as to what I'm supposed to do to open up the... Was I not need... Did I, did I not even need to come down here? Or maybe I need to kill a giant... Where was it? We came in here after having dropped down from there. That just goes down there, and this just goes down there as well, I... Yeah. These both just go straight back down. I'm... I'm confused. I don't understand. I know that... I... So I need to get back up there somehow. Shoot. Okay, you know what? I think I remember. I think it was past one of those things. I think it was on the other side of that. I'm assuming I probably have to kill the giant in order to open up the boss chamber. I'm assuming. But the question is... Huh. Let's see, this one... T okay. How do I turn on... ...that light? That's the puzzle, is I need to turn on that light. Okay. I 
suspect an illusory wall. Maybe. We basically are out of healing items. So we're gonna have to run this again anyway. But do better. Um Yeah, okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. Is I'm going to pause right here with this and I'm going to. So we have two different heroes' graves we can do. We have the one with the Crucible Knight, which I at least understand. And then we have this one. Although, well, I could look back at. Okay, I'm gonna look at the footage and I'm going to see if there's anything I missed that I can tell. It's unlikely, but I'll look and see if I have any ideas. If not, I'll go to the Crucible Knight one and see if I can beat that Crucible Knight duo, which is also questionable, but, you know, here we are. So, anyway, until next time, see you and bye.